on the justice court. The plaintiff, Adewomi Akiade, is asking the court to compel the father of her children to be responsible for their upkeep. Alright. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Adeumi and Abitola Adeola. That is all. Thank you, Akin. You are Adeumi? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Then I have two people online. Yeah, good afternoon, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is uh, Munir Muhammad Isa. Yes, I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Okay, you are the lawyer to the to the defendant. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, okay. So I did tell I did bola. Can you hear yes, ma'am. Good yeah. afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, okay. So, I can I do yes, me. Okay. Can you narrate why you have brought Adi Tola Adibola to court? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes, I have three children for Mr. Adibola Ismail Adi Tola. Okay. We are not um, legally married. So, well, he promised that he was going to do the right footing because that was what he told me we are what do you mean by right footing oh yes like pay my buy price and uh, marry me properly like going to see my parents and making the union a kind of um, at the time you met him was he single when i had my first child it was uh, it was but we were not married we were then we separated for a long time tell me the age of your the three of, uh, you said three yes children. the three children are from him the age Yes, a 15, okay. a 5, and a 2 years old. Right, okay. Yes, I met Mr. Adebola um, at the university. So, Which university? Olabison Abanjong University. We were studying the same course. It was just a year ahead of me. So, well, the first thing that happened to me was I, we were having unprotected sex. We... We, I, I had an ectopic pregnancy. I was so naive, I don't even know what it was. We were all thinking that, oh, it was this appendix. They said, oh, it's high time I go operate it and all that. So they took me into the, because there was no time. I was already looking pale. I can't stand upright and all of that. They just took me into the um, theater. So he told maybe I would never, I told him what the doctor said that, oh, you're just lucky to be alive. You are lucky to be alive if you ever have a child, then you are going to be really lucky and all of that. So he had all of that. So you are saying, yeah, yeah, so you might not have a child again. I say, well, I'm, 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 this is where I've, I've um, this is where I've met myself. Okay. So it was then that he was not telling me that ah, this one that my body is not like this, so that I doesn't think that. We are, we are going to be ever going to marry. I say, ah, now because you see me like this, you can't marry me. But then, after a while, we now separate. I was crying from one, from one, of my, from one friend to the other. They say, ah, see, oh, we told you that you should not date students. Oh, you know, say, look at you now. So, after a while, Isi came back and we were still seeing and dating because I don't know who else to, 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 to be seen. And luckily, miraculously, I had a pregnancy. Because I had one fallopian tube, sometimes I would see my period, sometimes I would not. So, I did not know that I was pregnant on time. So, but when I was noticing that, I began to have changes, like, uh, so I told him, and I knew that, oh, he's pregnant, uh, it's pregnancy. I told him, I'm pregnant and all that. Oh, he said, ah, are you sure? But they said that you are not be pregnant now. I said, ah, that is how I see it. He said, okay, I should go and confirm at the um, laboratory. I went to confirm. I said, yes, I'm pregnant. That, ah, wow, this is miraculous. He said, ah, I want to ruin his life. That was 
in his words, that I want to ruin his life, that no, I should go and abort it. So he was always calling me, persuading me that, please, let's, um, uh, you think I'm not going to marry you, I'm going to marry you. But uh, let's remove this one because we have, you know, we have to work for money. We have to, I said, yeah, we have to work for money. But this one, I'm just lucky to have this child. I'm not going to abort it. So it, it, it was just persuading me. I'm just like, I can't do this thing on my own. And I said, okay, maybe we should look for, well, and I said, okay, we should abort it. And I agreed. I said, okay, we should start looking for money. He said, he doesn't have money. He doesn't even have money. I said, me, I do it too. I don't have money. It's okay. I should go to Lagos and start looking for a hospital that can help me abort this pregnancy. That he will, be, he will go and look for money. Ha! So when I came to Lagos, I don't know where to, where to go to. So I started asking people all about, even friends. I said, I don't want to abort this pregnancy and even money. So uh, uh, at the time that we, we break up after the operation, that was when um, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to one guy named Aziz. When, when you broke up before the two of you started again? Yes. Okay. When, we, when we broke up, we weren't saying before he, he came, came back. back. Okay. So I met um, a friend of mine introduced me to Aziz, which I, I spoke to on <laughs> phone. So I, I went to see him. As I'm looking for money, I need the money for my um, school and all of that. I said, well, I, well, I was, but I was crying. He said, but you are crying. Well, what, what, what happened? You can't need the, the money and you, you are crying for your school and all that. I said, let me tell you the truth. That I'm pregnant. But the person I'm pregnant for has refused to do it. So we were just talking about life and everything. He said, well, that... Um, He's going to stand for me, but I will promise him that we are going to, we can have a relationship after maybe we can, maybe when we see where it leads to, um, we can marry and he will take care of me and my child. I said, yes, I agree that I don't want to abort my child in the first place. So he followed me home. He said he's the father of the child and everything, but he said he had lost his job for more than eight months old, but I will not be able to assist me much financially. I said, there's no problem. After some time, I went back to school. After I, I, I gave birth to my child, I had to do an exam. When, maybe when the child was three weeks, I went back to school. My mom had to follow me because I had to write an exam. So, Debola was preparing for his um, NYH then. Did you marry that man? No, I did not marry him. Okay. Then Debola kept me under his radar. He kept it under his radar because he knows that it is his child. He kept, even while he was working with one um, uh, pharmaceutical company, we were communicating and all of that. So when, in 2012, he, he, he approached me. He told me, he said, ah, God is um, punishing him, that uh, God did not bless um, his marriage, that the person did not have a child, not even one pregnancy and all of that, that I should forgive him, that I know that God is punishing him and all of that. I said, oh, well. That. So he now said, we, he, he wants us to come together. He wants to marry me. But if I agree as a second, that I don't want to chase away that one. I said, there's no problem. So when he told me that in 2012, I said, no, I'm not agreeing. I'm not going to agree. So in 2016, was after all the old begging all the years, well, I agreed that, well, we should, uh, he said we should merge family. The, the, um, he already talked about it with his family and they had agreed and they had talked about it with the lady that he married and everything is going to go smoothly, everything is going to be fine. And well, myself, I thought to myself, I said, well, I want to have my child, my children from one man. That it's a no problem for with a man. I don't want to give birth with, with different people. That I, I, I want to have more um, children. So that was I agreed that okay, yes, I was going to come in. He was going to take me as a second wife. He said, I said okay, that was how I agreed. Then at that time, he was working with um, Nigerian B with that um, that taking him to um, Kotangora in Ninja State. Then he said he would put me at uh, Mina in uh, Ninja State. So that's about three hours journey from Kotangora to, to Mina, the same Ninja State. So... He relocated you to Niger State. He relocated me to Niger State. 
Yes. So before I took my, my daughter, you look at me to Niger State, then before I took my daughter, after, after um, uh, two, three months, I discovered that I got pregnant again. So. Order. So, uh, I, I did the test and it was positive. We were so happy. He took me to his father, then he took me to the uh, mother's uh, brother because his mother is late. He took me as the, to the mother's uh, brother and they were assuring me that there's no problem, everything is going to run fine and all. But he didn't take me to his elder sister. So why my pregnancy was three months, that was when I got a call that, oh, he called me, he said, oh, I need to go to Lagos so to go and see his elder sister. He said, because there's an issue. I said, what issue? He said, when I get to Lagos, I will know that I cannot explain on phone and all that. He said, I need to go. He started telling me that ah, I need to go. His sister is this, so he has to, I have to go. I said, ah, okay. I had to take a night bus. He put me on a night bus to Lagos. But when I got to Lagos, I went to the sister's place, the auntie's place. So that was when I... Auntie or sister? Sister, blood sister, okay. the elder sister. You mentioned auntie now. That's why I got confused. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So the... the elder sister so i went to meet her and everything so she 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 was like oh she didn't know anything that we were um coming together as a family and this is um debola cannot do anything behind i say no he doesn't know about it and everything so he started making me go over how i met him and the first child and everything so he now said oh what they are going to do now that um, uh, yeah, that I'm, I'm pregnant. That what they're going to do now, he won't, because my child wasn't bearing the Bola's name, of course, he was bearing the name of the man that stood for me. So, so you know, then I said, no, they want to um, take ownership of, of the girl. My mom said, oh, no, that they shouldn't be bringing this up. I'm, I'm just, that it will give me a lot of stress at this time and all that. But the sister was saying that if I'm not interested, maybe I should go back to my mother's home, which means I'm not ready to, for this. Um, uh, um, um, proper asset and everything. I said, ah. I say, well, so that was how they say, okay, we, that we should go and do that. They want to confirm first that they we go and do DNA. I said, yes, it's the one that wants to confirm. I know what I'm talking about. We went for the DNA and it came out and it was confirmed that yes, it is his child and everything. So okay. they say, okay, first of all, they said they have to change the name, that they have to go out, go to um, they wanted, a safe place. At that point, they decided to take claim. Paternity of claim them. paternity for because the they've child. done DNA tests, yes. they discovered the child belongs to him. Yes, so, so they they now have, but now let me know the process they took because they did that, right? Yes, because I can see the names you put there. Yes, so the next thing they did is to change the name. Yes, they changed the name. They had to go and meet her says that the child will not be bearing his name anymore. I says did not fight them in any way, we were just angry. They cannot that. fight, it doesn't have the legal right to fight because the DNA has declared the owner. Do you yes, understand? He doesn't even want fighter. to fight. He doesn't even want to fight. But yeah, and then um, Debola Agri said he wants to give him some money to compensate him for exactly. for standing and everything. I say, yes, it's yes. a good way that that's a gratitude from from uh, me to him. And he did that. Yes, he did that. He, he paid him. Then we that was how I was able to take my child to uh, Mina. So when we got to Mina, and I'm already pregnant with the second child. So when we got to me, I said, oh, now that we are here, you are, you are not living with us. You say you'll be coming every two or three weeks to check on us. I said, you, you have to, we have to plan, you have to have an amount you'll be setting as feeding allowance so that I can use that to run the house and everything. I said, no, that was, that was the first um, uh, 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 struggle. He said, no, I'm not going to do like that, oh. That I said, ah, how are you going to do it? He said, ah, it will mean that if I, um, we are going to be like writing a list of food that we are, we are going to need rice to Amala and all that. At the end of the day, did he start giving you upkeep or he still did not? He did give? not. Throughout? Throughout, okay. there was no upkeep. So, until he did the unthinkable that I never thought he could do. First of all, he, when he comes, he said, and when it comes, I think whenever my daughter is betting, he used to... Your daughter or our daughter? Our daughter. Whenever she's betting, she would just 
go in there and all of that. And you know, the girl did not grow up with him. Um, uh, uh, so my daughter was now come attention to it that, oh, mommy, I don't like this and all that. I think, you know, it was around the overhead when my daughter, because she called me outside to complain about it. So I said, oh, I'm coming, let me go. And so when I now came inside, I went to the kitchen first. I was like, how, how, how will I attend to this issue? So, at, so it was, it had Ed, so it was the one that now came to the kitchen door saying, hey, there's something he wants to say. I said, what is that he wants to say? He said, um, I should warn um, um, uh, um, uh, Sophia very well that he, um, uh, what is there, that he wants her to be betting um, uh, naked, I mean, dressing naked in front of him. I said, ah, ah, that what do you want to use that for, to do that? Me, I'm the mother, she doesn't even dress or bet naked mm -hmm. in front of me. So why are you bothered about that? that if, if she's even doing that, you are the one that's supposed to tell her that no, because she's grown and she's even, you know, she's mature. She's 13 and at that time, she, she's fat and all. So why, why would you want a grown-up grown um, child to be dressed and naked in front of you? I said, no. I said, eh, <laughs> after that, you, you will not be like, when, when, is, when is going? He will give money um, to me. He said, this mommy home. He will give the other child this your own. He will not give that child money the, immediately that child will start crying i was uh, i would say ah, why don't you give it say no yeah he has not done what i asked her to do i said what is it that you asked her to do to be better naked and dressing naked of you i said i said no it's not accepted i am not agreeing to that so after that that was where it first started until my second child which she was three at that time so as he used to call he came that day and the light was off, the curtain was off, and the TV was on. So we just said, the light was off. So we just let my third, um, uh, my three years old child shouting, Mommy, heal! Mommy, heal! Mommy. We even thought it's something that bite her. Me, I thought it's something that bite her. The, my daughter, 13, she just quickly on the light. As she on the light, we saw the daddy, the daddy with erection. With my my daughter, my, my daughter three years old was like that. Say ah, I said, what are you doing? Are you using my child hand on your you know private I want part? to come in now, and I'll just tell you one thing, because the last thing you said and this one, they are capital offense, and you know the implications. And um, I've had issues of. I, do, I hope you don't belong to that category. I've had issues of women that when they are embittered with their husband and they come up with things like this, knowing that it's capital offense. Wait, I'm not saying, but I'll tell you one thing. Because it's capital, this idea, if you can't prove it, don't even go there. Because whatever you allege, you must be able to prove. Do you understand me? It's not just about narrating stories. I don't know whether anybody has told you before. If you have spoken with a lawyer, anybody will tell you. When you are alleging criminal offense, because there is a punishment for all these things under the law. So it's not just about coming out to narrate, because you come out to narrate, and if you cannot prove, you've heard about defamation of character before. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. I understand. If you cannot ma prove it, I'm just guiding you. If you know you don't have any proof of these things, don't even go there. But my child was there at that day. My 13 years old was there because he saw... The same 13 year old that you just told the court is not in good terms with him. He did that. Okay. And that was, in fact, the thing I said I cannot ever accept. And that was the reason why I left. Because I, I told him that he was trying to Molest my child and say no, that because I opened the dictionary from that using a young child did for you sexual report, stimulation. Did you report at anywhere, at any place? I did not report because I was free with to having my child. And you didn't report him to anybody either? I reported to my family, but Your not to his family. Fam yes. Mm -hmm. Then he, uh, we, since we are not in good talking time, so he, I just received a message one day. He said, um, um, uh, I should prepare um, uh, myself oh, that is relocating us back to Lagos into his father's um, uh, apartment. But is he is being Is there anybody living there? His, his father's apartment? Yes. His father is there. 
Okay, to so you are to his parents. Yes, he's recruiting okay. us to back to our point. But we were not in good talking time. Even his family, we no, no we were not in good um uh, in good terms. So and this place is talking about. I said I cannot leave. He said he knows I was I was going to contest it, but he's telling me that to comply for my own, for my own um good or whatever because he I was been threatening me that he's going to take my child and all of that. I mean, if 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 there was did you relocate to back to Lagos? No, ma'am. That, that, that's what I want so to say. So what happened? Just let me know. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, he, after he, he sent the text that he was going to relocate me back to, to his father's house, whereas he would be, he was, he, 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 he would be in Abuja. He where he's working. Yeah. Yes, he would be in Abuja. When he did not tell me, I know, there was no communication. If there's no communication, he sent no a message to you. So what happened thereafter? Yes, and this, this place is telling me that he wants to relocate um, me to. It's not a place he knows I can I can nurture my child. It's not a place I can live. Okay, you know it's not somewhere you would like to live. Yes, it's not but somewhere I would you like to, to go live. There. Yes, it, because it was like like he was trying to kind of condemn me to that place. He knows I'm not going to nurture my child enough. This place we are talking about is in Itire, one uh, Modueron side. This Odueron side, there's in that in the front of house where he wants to take me to, there's a big canal. That runs through the house. Be careful what you say. That's where they raise your husband. That That's was where not they where I raise him. him. That's not where. They are the people that raised him, and you saw him like that, and you still fell for him. I had to reach you. Yes, ma'am, but I don't want Be to careful. leave there. Be careful. Don't don't start condemning. Do you understand? If you have issues, don't extend it to the children. Don't extend it to the parents. Face yourself and sort yourself out. Yeah, oh, that's, that's always my own stand. Do you understand? Yes, your honour. So if that is where his parents are. Wait, and he says you should go there, and you don't like the place. Then you tell him, I don't like the place. I told and him, you, you walk you around. Want me to comply. He said, I better so what comply. Did you do? Yes, I, I start planning since he doesn't tell me he's going to You're Abuja. Planning. So eventually, what did you yes, do? Yes, I, I relocated myself I to, to, to um, Lagos. Okay. Yes. So you left the children behind? My children, I took my kids. You, so. I, I took her kids. Yes, I, I took her kit. Yeah. So and so I, I got an apartment, a comfortable one. <laughs> Emily, yes. It's a comf it's a oh, comfortable this way. Order. You, had a comfort you had money. You had money on this one. No, way. my family helped me. Okay. I don't you, have you money because money. at that time I wasn't even working. I just the third child too is a, um, is operation. Okay. So it's operation the third and they so have to evacuate my order. at that time so because had, I had complications. So you moved to Lagos when? I moved to Lagos, April 2021. Okay. So, yes. So when I got to Lagos, I still call him. That let's talk about the welfare. Has he come around to check the children? Never. He doesn't even make attempts. So he, I called. I called him. That let's talk about the welfare of the children. He said no. That um, uh, he's not interested. That if I'm tired, I should go and dump them in the family house. Then go and pick them. So that 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 statement make me see that he's just trying to take my the, 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 our children away from me. So so, so well, I don't ask you that he wanted to see the children at all. Yes, after a while, after a while, that I've been contacting him to for the welfare of the children, which he's refusing to do and all of that. So he now after seven months, he now suddenly sent um, thirty thousand. To my account, he said he targeted as a um, upkeep for the children. That was my and but it was a bait. It was a bait because he was telling me he wants to know the address because he was telling me he was going to. He was still are telling you, me he was going to take are the you, kids. Are you stopping from seeing the children? No, 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 no. I've never because even when he sent that thirty k, I was like I, I I did video call with him so that I could see the children, see that I'm taking care of our kids and all of so that. You, so he can he can have access to the children physically. Yes, he can. He I've never to. object to that okay. because the 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 reason why I even we I even went back into the relationship with him was because I want my child, I want the father's um, daughter relationship. So what do you want from the court now? Yes, that he should stop trying to take our kids from me. Ah. Yes, wait, yes, he's been threatening me a lot. He's been threatening me. I don't know why well, he doesn't. When was the last time? If he's threatening you, that means you're under the fear of giving him access to the children. I'm and not, that means no, no. He has no, I don't understand. That's no, what? what he, he, he portrayed to, to, 
to want to do was he wants to know where I stay so that he can come and come and take them away okay. by force. So let me listen to him too. Yes, let sir. me listen to him as well. But you've not really told me what you want. Yes, I apart from that, the narration you the access from. is the issue now. I want him to take care of, of the kids, play his part because it looks to me like he doesn't have compassion on his own children because he would be telling me that he's taking care of strangers' children but not no his problem. own kids. So you're talking about taking care of the children, you are ready to give him access to the children? D depending on the access, Your Honor. Okay, we we'll see. Because you see, I'll tell you one thing, everything you have said, even the allegation, let me just listen to him first so that we hear his own side of the story. So that I tell this girl what was happening that let day. Let him talk, please. The plaintiff, Ademumi Akinade has three children for the defendant, but they are not legally married. She claims that Adetola manipulated and used the promise to pay her bride price and marry her as his second wife to control her life. She alleges that Adetola's behavior towards their female children is not appropriate. Judge Fumi cautioned her on making criminal allegations without proof. The plaintiff is in court to demand upkeep for her children. Um, I have already said my own part of the story in the written documentation, but if you would permit me, uh, in order not to start having repetitions, I would just um, have to highlight to build on the points that I've noted on all the lies that she actually levied against me. The defendant, Adetola Adebola, claims that Adewumi's allegations are not true. This matter is unfolding as the court proceeding continues in the next episode. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.